What's up guys, Buster Boy here. We have since then figured out where to go in the last episode. We didn't know where to go, so we have since completed that level. And that was at the end of the door. We were going in a circle, not paying attention, and look where we're at. <laughs> so yeah, we got to the end, and that was embarrassing. I was rolling around the whole time, so I was like trying to figure out where to go. And yeah, that's what we're doing there. So we are on to the next one, peoples. And that's how we were going to... We ended the last episode the same way that we began this one. I mean, we you know, we ended, we picked up, you know what I'm trying to say. We picked up where the last episode left off. That's what I was trying to say. God dang it. I hate that shit when I get my words mixed up, man. It's annoying. But anyway, last episode, I just carried on some random conversation, talking about a little bit of everything. Um, this time, I actually have my mind on what I want to talk about this time. Um... And that's nothing, because, honestly, I don't want to talk right now. Alright, so... Right. Well, shit. Nothing in particular, actually. But yeah, I will take the time to plug someone. Um, if you guys have not checked out Codemo66, go ahead, check them out. The link will be in the description in on, his, on the playlist. And, um, yeah, if you guys have not subscribed yet, please feel free to do so, because that would be well appreciated. I, and if you are a subscriber, welcome, welcome. Thank you for checking this video out. Um, if you are have not, what are you waiting for? You know, so, it's a rare moment. I rarely even say, say that. I rarely even plug to, to subscribe. I'm like, I'm like... I'm usually that kind of chill person. I usually don't... I don't want to sound like a douche when I say this. I'm like... I love all of my fans. I love everybody that watches this vid these videos of mine. But I'm like... I'm not the kind of person to shove subscribe down your throat. You know what I mean? Like... You know in every video... You know how some people in every fucking video... They're like, subscribe, 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 subscribe. It sounds like a broken... Very bad broken record. And I don't want to be that kind of YouTuber, you know? I try not to say if if I get a certain amount of likes, I'll do this. or Because to me, in my opinion, that's kind of bribery. And I'm like, I get whatever I can get. I get likes, whatever I get likes. Even dislikes, I get... If I get dislikes, I get dislikes. I've gotten dislikes before. Um, so I'm not afraid of it, you know? But... You know, I'm just saying, I get whatever I can get if I get, you know, I'm just pretty laid back, pretty lenient, pretty, I'm just pretty whatevs when it comes to stuff like that. Excuse me a second, I gotta take, drink, take me a drink. I'm rocking out some Spartans Mountain Pulse. Good drink. Ooh. Okay, guys, I am back. Friend of mine, I had to wait for code demo, and so I stopped the recording. But I'm back now. He had to use the restroom, but we're back now. Um, but yeah, so just figured it was just best to stop the recording until he got back, and yeah. But yep, I'm back now, and we're about to go into the queen's chamber. We're gonna do probably about four more this episode. Maybe this episode will be like four or five, something like that. Cause I just finished the other one for you guys. I got to the door for you guys, so. I really couldn't figure out where to go. That was crazy and y'all just needed to go straight up. That's, wow. I cannot believe that happened to me though. I hate that shit. It's sometimes the most simplest things, too. It's ridiculous. Well, let's just both just get stuck on each other. Like we always do. Alright, 
So, I don't, uh, there's probably not going to be much talking this episode because I honestly don't know what to talk about. Um, last episode, I talked about wrestling, which is very rare of me nowadays because I don't really think wrestling is as good as it once was. It's not any of any, but like I've said many times before, it's not of any fault. It's not to any fault of anybody's. It's not Roman Reigns' fault. It's not. It's not anybody's fault. It's 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 if anybody's at fault for this, it is the writing staff. The writing staff just has bad ideas. Just like Hollywood in general, are just has bad ideas nowadays. I mean, let's be honest here. What has Hollywood got nowadays? Reboots? What are they gonna reboot now? What they got now? They got The Exorcist coming out. When was that ever good? Let's be honest. When was The Exorcist ever good? Besides in the 70s. When it's one of the most controversial fucking horror films ever made. And it was a bitch to be made because there was a lot of fucking crazy things that were happening. A lot of back a lot of backyard shenanigans you know so and you know it when was that ever a thing like the exorcist and now they're rebooting 24 did that ever need a reboot seriously hollywood are you gonna burn no pun intended burn the legacy of 24 into the ground by ma naming it 24 legacy and not hiring Kiefer Sutherland um, After what happened the last the, the last limited edition movie They should have left it alone Okay, the now the X-Files um, The X-Files season 10 they're rebooting the X-Files with the original cast um, but Netflix and them are ruling it as season 10 yeah, they're ruling it as season 10. Um, now that is actually something that shouldn't have been re rebooted. Maybe they should have just said they're adding to it, like a season premiere. You know, th that, that should have been something. You know, because the X-Files, I'm gonna be honest with you guys about the X-Files. I haven't really gotten into the X-Files until recently on Netflix. And from what I've watched, it's pretty damn creepy. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it's pretty fucked up, too. In some cases. You know, but... Eh, overall, it's not too bad. Not... It's kind of just there. You know? Um, I, I'm... Again, I'm only, like, a couple of episodes into the first season. So, I can't really give a solid judgment. Do I like it so far? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Um, is it good? Is it all that everybody is cracking it out to be? Is it this greatest? Is it one of the greatest freaking shows of all time and all this stuff and all that? No, it's not all that. It's okay. For the 90s, it's great. You know, for the 90s, it was awesome. It was great, man, for the 90s. But other than that, there's... It's it. Um, but, again, opinion can change. My opinion can change of it. My perspective of it can change. So I don't... I don't know. Um, I Again, I'm only two episodes into the first season. I can't really tell. All the way, I might actually do a full-scale review of the, the show. I may actually do a full-scale review of the show on this channel one day. Who knows? But yeah, I'm gonna probably end up uh, almost dying this round. Holy shit. Alright, you guys can die now. That would be great. Or you could just not die. Why is he opening up all the doors? You just wasted a key! Dude! No! You wasted a key! Jerk! You wasted a damn key! 
Wow! Wow, Kodemo! Why would you do that? Wasting keys like that. You can't just do that in a let's play, dude. Let's play together. Let's, it's not called let's waste keys in a game called Gauntlet. No! It's called let's play, not let's waste shit. What the fuck, dude? What is your problem? What are you smoking? But anyway, back on point. I'll tell you what show I finally got into, and Lurkin Realms is gonna shoot me dead, but you know what? I don't care. And that's Buffy. I actually recently got into that as of late. Um, it's, you know, I've probably only seen a couple of portions of the show a handful of times. I saw the movie with the original Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which wasn't Sarah Michelle Gellar. It was actually some other girl. Can't remember. But yeah, Sarah Michelle Gellar, um, she's always one of those people that never really got into... You know, you never really got into those big movies, you know, never got that big break. And it sucks. It really does, because Sarah Michelle Gellar is talented. It's just she gets really shitty-ass fucking roles. Or she gets, like, really B-class roles. Um, I know she's a D-lister. I mean, no, she's not even a D-lister. Would she be ruled as a D-lister? I don't know. I think she'd be more of a, a C-lister. Because I know there's different grades that you grade peop like people like that. And I think she'd be known as a C-lister. I think they'd consider Sarah Michelle Gellar to be a more of a C-lister. That's just a lucky guess here. I don't know. If I'm correct, I'm correct. But I consider her as a C-lister. She's one of those people that can't really get any like good roles. Which really sucks because she's a talented actor actress I've seen her in the grudge she had some amazing fucking stuff in the grudge I'm not really a huge fan of horror films because maybe because I see through all the bullshit I'm that wrestling fan that, that doesn't like wrestling because I can see through all I'm that I'm that way or I'm like the person that's like oh I don't like sports because I feel it's this way. I feel the matches are rigged, so they're going to get put whoever they want to in there anyway. And if they don't, they're just going to switch the rules. No, I'm that person. I was just saying that as an example. I don't feel that way, but I was just saying that as an example. Um, but, yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm that way with the, when it comes to horror films. I don't like what horror films have become. Um, I don't like... I liked what they used to be. They used to be good. They used to be relevant. Like Resident Evil or something. You know, Resident Evil used to be relevant too. And now it's just turned into this, let's just remake everything but the good Resident Evil. <laughs> what, what is Resident Evil for? Let's be honest. I Okay. That's biased. Extremely biased. I, I like Resident Evil 4. <clears throat> it's just I suck at the game. Resident Evil 5 got a lot of shit, but I like it because of that. I like it because it got a lot of shit. I like, I, the ga and plus the game is very fun. But don't play that fucking game by yourself. I'm just warning you guys right now, if you have not played that game, do not fucking play that game by yourself. The AI is fucking stupid. Think of somebody that does not know gaming at all. Imagine if they, they, if they knew Jack Diddley Jack shit about gaming and they tried to program an AI. And even they could program it better than they did on the AI in Resident Evil 5. So do not play that game by yourself. Trust me, I know from experience. That was one of the worst experiences of my life doing that shit. I will never play that game by myself again. If I go back to that game, I will do a let's play, but I will probably be doing that uh, that with a friend. I'm not going to play that fucking game by myself. Uh, but anyway. You know what game should be remade? I agree with a good friend of mine that said this game should have been remade. Because it's never been remade before. 
Resident Evil 2 has been remade countless times, and through his eyes, he said Resident Evil 2 has been remade so many times, it doesn't need it to be remade again for more consoles. And he said that Resident Evil 3 never really got its proper due, and I agree 100%. That game has never got a remake. So comment below, if it has, leave it in the comments below, tell me when, what day, I mean what date has it been remade, and for what console, because honestly, I've been gaming for about 25 years now, and I've never seen it, never, if it has, it may have just slipped my radar, I may have just been sleeping one day, you know, but, so let me know. In the comments below, please, because I, I'm not even being a smart ass or being a dick about it. I legitimately want to know, did they remake it and for what console? So I can go find it and pick it up and buy it and do a let's play on that shit because I really want to know. Because that game does not get its proper due and I agree with my friend when he said that 100% that Resident Evil 3 does not get its proper due. But yeah, speaking of Resident Evil, um, Resident Evil 5 is coming out, and I will be getting that in July because I'm not going to be able to get anything in June because I'm getting my Xbox One. Um, that does not mean I'm going to be ditching my PS4. I'm going to keep both of them because I am a gamer, and that's what I do. And I love both of my consoles. I love the Xbox One and the PS4. The only reason why I don't have an Xbox One now is because I had to get rid of it. For my nephew, you know, I gave I gave mine to my nephew because he really wanted one. He couldn't get one at the time. And I'm gonna just be I'll, I'll tell you that story another time. I'll tell you that story. Yeah, I'll tell you that story another time, guys. So right now is not the time to tell you that. I'll tell you later. But I definitely would love to share that story with you guys. Just not today. So. Maybe in the next episode, I'll, I'll share that story with you guys. So, I don't know. If I think about it. Wow. Okay, it is dark as fuck in this cave. And that's the one thing I don't really like about this level. It is dark as fuck. And those eggs. Yeah. If you step on them, sometimes... Um, yeah, sometimes... The uh, spiders can come up. Alright, well... This is going to be the last, um, it's going to be the last level this episode. And yeah, this one right here is going to be the last level this episode, so. And then we're going to go on to the next episode. You know, I might actually finish all the silver ones this episode and, and then go and, um, yeah, fuck it. We're going to do all the silver ones this episode and then we're going to call it episode. Why not? Like I said, guys, I don't pre-plan this shit. I don't say, oh, we're going to do three at three per episode. No, I, I just say, I just fucking wing it, and whatever happens, happens. You know, so I'm like, eh, maybe I feel like doing this many episodes. I mean, this many levels this episode, or something like that. So, that's pretty much what I do. Like, whatever I'm feeling, that's like, okay, let's just do, like, this many. So... Yep, so this is what we're gonna do. This I don't know how long this episode is gonna be guys, so I don't know. Um so let's see. Well fuck. Alright, so Alright, if this level doesn't take okay, let me reword that. If this level doesn't take too wow. That was a short level. What kind of level was this? That's crazy. All that for that? What? Oh, we're doing the other silver one. We are not going to end it like that. Fuck that. That was way too fucking short. All they need to do is walk straight. What kind of shit is that? Okay, let's go on to the next. Let's go to the next one right now. We're doing this shit. This episode. We're doing all this this episode. And then we're going to call it episode. Wow, that was a short ass fucking level. That was sad, to be honest. That was really fucking sad. 
Oh, I gotta destroy these eggs. He died. Oh no, he left. All right, we're continuing this without code demo. Yeah, he left. Dude. All right, so we're gonna. Do this one this episode, and that'll be the end of this episode. Alright, so here we go. Uh. Ah, shit. It is moving slow. It's moving hella slow. Sorry, but I'm not gonna die this round. Oh, they could bring the eggs back, you fuckers. Right, maybe I'll be able to kill one of these fucking assholes. Oh, damn it. All right, looks like I'm winging this by myself, guys. I ain't scared. Let's go. I gotta kind of focus. Can't really commentate. Sorry, guys. There are spiders all over the damn place. Oh, shit. I don't know what happened to Code Demo. I survived it, guys. Survived it by myself. Yush! And that is how we're going to end the episode, guys. Like a boss. Fucking A. Without cold demo. Boom! In your face. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Sorry, I had to get a little cocky there. <laughs> but, yeah, this, my friends, is Boy 46 signing off, saying, Game on, rock out. Stay frosty. In the next episode, we are going on to this one. You heard my phone in the background. Sorry about that. Um, so, yep, we're going to go on to the gates of Aurochs in the next episode. So, see ya.